Oh, you got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. You don't put your fucking hands on me, motherfucker. I say this with all due respect. Keep your hands and your feet to your motherfucking self. Stop hitting people. Stop putting your fucking hands on people. However, this is something that I don't see a lot of people talk about. Stop being emotionally, right, and mentally abusive to people. I see a lot of narratives where I always see the man for some reason coming out as uh, the bitch ass nigga, as the fuck boy, as, oh, real men don't do this and real men don't do this. Well, here's the thing. Everybody's motherfucking human and a motherfucker can take but so much verbal, right, or emotionally abuse until they motherfucking snap. Everybody ain't wired the same way. You need to make sure that the men and women that you're dealing with, they're wired correctly. Because this is what happens when someone is constantly verbally abused, emotionally abused. You equate that for some reason not to be equal to physical abuse. Stop the fuck shit. You know when you get on a ride at a roller coaster or whatever, they see keep, say keep all hands and feet inside the ride. Keep all hands and feet inside the ride. You don't know how to argue. You don't know how to argue. Every disagreement has to be something nasty, has to be something di dis uh, fucking dysfunctional and derogatory. Learn how to fucking have a disagreement and say, look, I let's agree to disagree. But a lot of people want to take it over the top. Oh, yo, mama ain't shit. You a fuck boy. Oh, fuck you, bitch. I mean, it, it, it has to go way over the top. And then you expect rational behavior, a rational outcome. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fucking hands and feet to yourself and stop saying, well, let's just look at the end result. No, 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 Linda, 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 no, no, no. It's time to start saying, let's have conversations without being irate, without goddamn being over the top, without having to disrespect someone. When you start talking about people's mamas, you start putting your hands all in people's face, you start mushing their motherfucking head, you start blocking them from being able to leave, you start doing things that you would do to someone as if you hate them. Well, here's the thought process. If you do things to someone as if you hate them, the retaliation is going to be as if they hate you. Duh. You know what? I'm going to tell my children, hey, if it's my daughters, listen, you can have a disagreement with a man, but but in reference to being nasty or whatever, don't do it. Don't do it because if he put his hands on you, it's going to escalate. It's going to be something else. And now it's more. It's going to be more people on his ass. But the fact of the matter is you don't have to escalate it. You don't have to stand in front of a man for 10, 15 minutes or I'm going to curse you out. I'm going to read you your rights. I'm going to tell you everything I want to tell you up under the sun. I'm going to say every negative name that I can find and vice versa and vice versa. Now, this message ain't for the people that wake up and somebody just on top of you punching the shit out you both male and female this ain't if you think that this is what this is get the fuck out of here go that way go that way this is for the people that say you know what small disagreements turn into these major fallouts and they don't have to learn how to talk to people. You can have a disagreement. You can you can you can be on two different sides of, of perspectives, but you don't have to disrespect someone. And I think that's the problem right now. We equate. We only want to talk about physical abuse. Well, my thought process is both men and women are on the spectrum of physical abuse. But there are, are men and women on the spectrum of physical, of, of physical, emotional and mental abuse. Abuse is abuse. For 2021, can we be realistic? We exposing a lot of shit over here. Can we pull this into the forefront and say, abuse is abuse. Stop the fuck shit. Don't put your fucking hands on me. I won't put my hands on you. Don't curse me the fuck out. I won't curse you out. Don't say, well, I ain't being a man if you won't let her punch you in the face. I'm looking for reality. I'm trying to smell some reality. Let me no, let me check my other. I'm trying to smell some reality. Like I'm, are, are you stupid? Are you stupid? You're you're teaching your sons. If a woman punch you in the face, son, you need to just just take that, eat that, eat that. Um, 
all women ain't small. There are women out there that know how to throw some punches. And what if she abuses that punch? You know what? If I punch them this time, I can punch them again. We're not advocating for anyone to be physically, emotionally, or mentally abusive. Abuse at zero tolerance. And that's the way we need to start carrying shit. Abuse, regardless of what it is, zero tolerance. I'm not going to stand here as a bystander and watch you curse this man out. Hey, stop before this shit escalates. I'm not going to stand back and watch you punch her in the face. Hey, stop before this shit escalates. Stop it. But we think it's cool as a society to watch a man get cursed out, to watch a man curse out a woman. It's cool. It's funny. Hey, hey, it's not, it's not, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. A lot of good people have lost their lives over a simple disagreement. And it's sad because one person dies or goes to the hospital and the other one goes to jail. And now they're sitting there and says, man, I wish someone would have just intervened. But here is the tough love for your monkey ass. Here's the tough love. You need to intervene. You're a part of that fucking situation. Learn how to say this. Hey, bro, I'm good. I'm straight. You got that. You win that. I'll take this L. I'm good. I'm good because I'm not going to get into a situation where now somebody's dead going to the hospital or going to jail because you want to act a goddamn fool. This goes for men and women. Keep your motherfucking hands to your motherfucking self. Stop being verbally abusive. Stop being mentally abusive. If you don't want someone to give you that type of energy or take it there, stop acting like stop acting like you bought that life. You're not built like that. Everybody, everybody's not going to, here's, here's what happens, y'all. What happens is people black the fuck out. They black the fuck out. Like you, you keep pushing them and pushing them and pushing them and pushing them. And eventually what happens is they black the fuck out. And by the time they realize what's going on, you fucked up. You fucked up. You were standing there popping off. Oh, your mama ain't shit. And you a fuck boy and, and fuck you bitch. And, da, 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 da. and she fucked around and hit you with a goddamn frying pan. Pulled some hot grits on your motherfucking ass. He backhanded your motherfucking. Ladies and gentlemen. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. I'm going to let you argue with yourself. I ain't call you no names. I ain't going to put my hands on you. I ain't going to roll my eyes. I ain't going to curse you out. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm going to go live my best life in real life. Go live my best life in real life. A lot of us do, know, do not know how to mitigate situations. So we, 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 we're steadily finding ourselves in a position where we're constantly on the defense. We're constantly on the attack. Ladies and gentlemen, learn how to communicate. We ain't talking about love languages. We're talking about simple communication, simple disagreements. You don't need to have an altercation. I looked at the Quavo and the, and the sugar pie or whatever, you know, situation or whatever. And, and it's sad. But I see a lot of people saying, oh, he a fuck nigga. Or he a fuck boy for doing this. And he a fuck boy. And I'm just like, I've seen so many situations like this where I've watched women be verbally abusive, physically abusive, emotionally abusive. And for some reason, at the end of the fucking scenario, it's the man's fault. No one says, well, you shouldn't have did X, Y and Z and vice versa and vice versa, because we know that women can be aggressors and we know that men can be aggressors. We don't call this shit down the middle. We don't call this shit down the middle and say what it is. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, stop putting yourself in predicaments where someone is going above and beyond to push your buttons. They're going above and beyond to, to take or put you in a position to where you can lose everything that you've earned. Stop letting people control your emotions. Protect your energy, protect your peace. If you don't know what this is, this is Tough Love. I am Mario J. Until next time, man, y'all are dot up. Keep your motherfucking hands to yourself, okay? And stop being emotionally and mentally abusive to people. That shit ain't cool. That shit is played the fuck out. Deuces.